check one two okay so we're gonna install wobble boss on a mac in this video in logic and then what else we'll do is in case the actual vs or au gives you problems we also give you guys all the wave files i'm going to quickly teach you how to use those wave files within the exs sampler okay so here we go you'll scroll down to the bottom you'll buy it you'll come to this page sort of like your thank you for purchasing and download here page and uh, you'll grab the mac au grab this download not this one okay right underneath this box is the load the download file that um our system spits out at you but for whatever reason it redirects the exact same file as this but for whatever reason this one sometimes corrupts the download so please don't use that one only use this one up here okay once you download that download all of the wave files everything comes in a zip so you'll have to unzip it once it's in down here this first bit is a PC bonus unfortunately only uh, unless you guys know how to use DLLs within a Mac I've tried unsuccessfully but um, they're there if you need them if you want them or if you do have a PC as well and want to use them within your PC uh, and a couple other free bonuses you guys get so once you got them all downloaded you'll see something like this open up the zip file for the main download you'll see these three files the first thing you need to do is run this MSP runtime package it's a shared library and then once you're done that you will drag your wobble boss component into your actual components of your Mac and to get to this it's Macintosh hard drive your library your audio your plugins and components and then whatever other components you put in here is what all of your audio apps will resort to when it's scanning them okay when it scans for the first time when you open this up in logic or whatever else you're using um, you need to open this up and grab your serial number it'll ask you for a serial on first run after that first run you're good to go and uh, you can bypass that screen but you won't be able to use it it'll just say uh, instrument not found or some, some kind of error so um, once you get to go there what I'll do here is open up logic and show you guys how this works within logic and then I'll also mention uh, not to forget to grab these and I'll show you guys how to use these by creating simple EXS folders and then assigning those samples to your keyboard or your if not your media keyboard your computer keyboard because you can use that too okay here we go all right so we're gonna open a new empty project in logic by this time it'll scan your AUs and ask you for that serial number you'll dump it in open a new software instrument and then in your in outs you'll go down to your MIDI instruments or your AU instruments sorry wobble boss and stereo give it a moment to load and there we have it if you have a MIDI controller hooked up make sure you get sounds out of it um, I'll walk through these very very quickly these first couple until you get to the drums five or so are all sort of additive left to right sweeps swooshes really cool and funky ins and outs um, very panned very echoed very processed the drums and stabs are literally just a bunch of kits that we got which vary tremendously in the genres and the type so it's not all dubstep it's not all just electronic it's just three amazing kits of uh, general drums and they're layered in most cases and they are really nicely mastered so you guys can use these as your leads or just use them as little fill-ins rolls get creative with them there's tons of drums they're not even on the market yet they're from masterproducers.com and they're not even on that site and that site isn't even selling them yet either so you guys get sort of first dibs on these uh, the rest up until the web shots are voxed both short and long so you press a few of the keys together and you get some seriously crazy effects um, process just right we also leave them raw enough for you guys so you can still add a bit of reverb add a bit of processing yourselves um, speaking of that we have a little onboard reverb pan 
ADSR rack and LFO right in depth. These probably won't be too handy until you find a sound that's just a straight good that doesn't have any LFOs or chops or processing to it yet. So you can add your own bit of LFO in depth. But uh, on some of these, this could still sound a little bit cooler than the original. You'll have to play with it yourselves to really even see the difference. I'm not going to bother. You guys can go in there and mess around with that. And there's some more controls up here for the rest of the uh, functions. A quick little bender. Oh yeah, right. For whatever reason, our bender doesn't work on the Wobble Boss for Max. Okay, so once you get through this and you start making your tracks and whatnot and you figure like these samples are amazing but for whatever reason you don't like this um i know for some reason once in a while this crashes logic any big au crashes any daw once in a while so it's unfortunate but it does happen so what i'll do next is quickly teach you guys how to grab those samples and then turn them into exs folders and patches so that you guys can uh not use this if you don't want to i mean i want you guys to but really all this is is a beautifully packaged au that holds and houses a bunch of WAV files. So I want you guys to have those WAV files so that you guys can do what you want with them as well with other gear, other samplers, and uh, process them more yourself. So we've opened it up for you. We'll close this up. I'll start a new session in Logic, and we will import them through the EXS sampler. Okay, so we're starting another new project, create a software instrument. And this time we'll go to IO, and choose our EXS sampler, stereo. Up here, make sure you're on no instrument. As you can see, I have tons. I love this thing. Um, I'm slowly switching over or transitioning or using both now, PC and Mac. And when I transitioned over and found this thing, um, very, very impressed. So no instrument and then edit. And that'll bring up this screen. This is literally your keys. Okay, what we'll do is those five folders you downloaded, we got to go find those. Okay, my folder structure is messy because I'm making the samples on here and I'm finalizing them and making them into the packs. So don't worry about all this. You find your five sample packs that you downloaded. You double click on one, you'll have two packs in there and each of these will line up nicely on your keys. So we'll double click on that. You can literally Apple A for everything and drag it all over. Tell it you want to start at, let's say C minus one. You might even have to go to C minus two in a few of these, but we'll go to C minus one. So it'll start one octave below the normal one that it normally starts at. Okay, and then from here to here, we've just lined up all the samples. One thing we have to do is click anywhere on this screen and Apple A again and unclick the one shot, okay? Now that all those are blank, you can close and on the close, it'll ask you to save and you say, sure. You should end up with 10 in total once you do this through all the packs. There's five packs and then two in each. So once we're in here, I'll name this Wobble Boss 1A. It already exists. Oh, I already did this. That's right. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna cancel. And because it's already in here, I'm just going to close and not save. You will save. So now what I what I do is... All right, I did all of them already a while ago. Okay, so here they all are. So now we'll go to Wallow Boss 1A. And actually, let's go to the 5A because these samples are my favorite. Okay, they'll all be lined up just like they are in the Wobble Boss, but now they're on the EXS sampler. One more thing I'll show you how to do here is... Let's say you do want to span some of these. No instrument, edit. I'm not sure which pack has the spans. I believe it's four. There we go. So let's say we want to take just this one guy, we'll put him in here. He's now spanned across all the keys. Undo that. Or just click on him, 
and delete. Grab a couple of them, and then it'll ask you how you want to span them. You can use that interface, or you can use this one here, where you literally move this guy over here, drag right to the next octave, and you can tell this that you want it to go from C2 to C3. Or it'll do it for you automatically. So it's very easy to just take the samples and start assigning them. And once you do it once, you're good to go. It might seem like a bit of a bitch to do this um, from the get-go. But if I was on a Mac, strictly, uh, I'd be using the... I do, actually, use the EXS quite a bit. And then you'll have to set, the obvious, obviously, the... Um, where it starts at, what note it's supposed to start at. And to do that, you literally just click hold and drag. So that if you want this to start at C4, you literally got to drag this up to C4. Probably can double click in there too. Yeah, you can. Okay. So double click or click hold and drag. Okay. So once you're all set up and you have all your wobbles, made and you spanned a few if you wanted to span any of them um, it's really literally as easy as duplicating this a few times and each time you're on one of these just double click on the excess part it'll pop up for you and you can change that now to four change this one to three and you start intertwining your wobbles okay so there you go wobble boss on a mac standalone and downloading all the files so that you have them as waves in EXS. Enjoy making music. Peace out. Oh yeah, lastly, before I go, I forgot that uh, GarageBand also takes VST. So if you don't have Logic, something you can quickly do is... I'm brand new to Mac, so I might this might take me a while, but from what I remember... Um, oh. You literally click on the piano, and down here you'll have all your VSTs. Cool. So select Wobble Boss from here. Give it a moment, then click on the interface part, and it'll pop up here. Okay, so same thing. I don't know how to use GarageBand. I've never used GarageBand. <laughs> I've heard nothing but not good things about GarageBand. But nonetheless, uh, it doesn't look all that bad now that I'm in here. Looks kind of nice. Very basic, but it is what it is. So if this comes with all Macs, which I believe it does, then uh, you can still utilize RVSTs within GarageBand. Okay, so enjoy.